So we're considering calling this project development because the, the way that people think about the word development and what it actually means is, is quite crucial, I think, to the process of making art and the changing of a space and the changing of ideas. This space here has a, um, a lifespan of one year. We have a lease for one year before they decide to, to demolish the building. So we're, um, we're in a tight schedule of pushing out as many projects as we can at that time. I read a really interesting thing, Jerry Saltz, he's like my favorite art writer. He's, he's brilliant and, and poignant and hilarious. Um, but he was sort of saying, you know, like measure success as an artist, not by sales, but by time. I have 12 years worth of creative industry experience here in New Zealand. I've worked with a range of contemporary and community trusts, probably around about 14 plus. I've also set up two artist spaces, Just Art and JJ Morgan & Co. Through these different initiatives, I've run studio programs, exhibitions and residency programs and have helped out a range of 300 plus artists. If I measured, if I measured my success by sales, I mean I've been doing this for like 13 years, I, I think we'd draw a conclusion that this is a pretty uh, remarkable failure with a couple of <laughs> glowing successes in there, you know what I mean? Um, but that's, that's sort of, I, can't, I, have, I don't measure it that way. I can't measure it that way or I would have stopped doing it a long time ago. We've had resident artists in the past and I really like to meet new people. I work in child development so if the artists are interested to do workshops for the children they'll be really awesome. So yeah, here we are at the um, front entrance to what will be uh, the development space uh, residency program. This general space here that we're standing in is the workspace alongside the living space that the resident artist will have. I, th I think that this space could actually be used for new media, 3D and painting. Probably not dance, performance, music, given the, um, the size of the space uh, and the location of the space. I'm going to Elam School of Fine Arts. It's the sort of the premier art institution in New Zealand. And uh, I felt really good about it. I mean, I've been working, I've been studying there for a couple of years now. I've got one more year to go until I've completed my MFA. We've got our little wee dog that's running around here at the moment, little Tahi. Um, but obviously by the time people come here he'll be a little bit bigger and, and um, we'll be going through the motions of, of training him so then he's not too much of a little rascal. He's only um, four, months, four months old at the moment. It's always nice to receive an idea or a concept or a proposal in a sense because it enables us to see where the, what the artist is doing, what they want to do, what they want to achieve by that, that end point. But at the same time it's quite nice I think for, for everyone involved and quite exciting to see new things developing and new relationships developing and new concepts in the work developing. I mean what I really want to do is just meet some interesting people who are doing some interesting things and kind of you know feed off each other ideas and um, that kind of thing. I mean that said I'm pretty individualistic kind of guy you know and I sort of like doing my own thing. I'm Chris McKee and I'm the first resident artist here at Development Artists in exchange for the time that I'm staying here, I'm doing the video that you've been watching. Um, space that I'm about to walk into here, um, unfortunately, bed is not made. <laughs> um, and, you know, while mostly I'm interested in showing everyone's personality, give you a sense of what they'd be like to live with and what they're interested in. I also wanted to share some stuff that was important to me. This is the room that the resident artist will be, will be in. There's heaps of natural light and windows and things in here too. Um, you'll also probably hear in the background that there is um, a fair bit of noise as well. Uh, so I included the neighbourhood and the domain. It's quite a, um, a, a happening hub. There's a lot of cafes and bars and everything nearby. And we're also next to a train station. So we'll get the odd train coming through every now and then, so you'll get a little bit of a rattle or a bit of noise, but in most cases it's safe for a few seconds. Um, for me, you know, because I'm inside editing a lot or writing, I need to be able to get out and when I you know, go out, if people are in a good mood looking for movies or coffee or food or something like that, then it's fun. Um, Likewise, the domain is great just to take my mind off it, get me away. It's a, it's a beautiful space. We're, we're about five, ten minutes away from 
Auckland to Maine, a big vast area that has sports grounds, gardens, trees, the Auckland Museum, ponds, hills and, and you name it. So um, over here as we walk down the small hall we've got uh, my room in here and, and we have the kitchen down in here as well. Um, and if you have any dietary requirements or any particular foods or things that you like you're more than welcome to add that to the to the mix as well. We generally have um, shared dinners. Development is a creative environment that's been set up to support artists to develop new works or to work on an existing piece. We're providing free studio and living in return for presentations and or workshops and open studios. Um, you're welcome to check us out online for more information or to get in touch with us directly.